So here are my, both of my small mini ponds. Uh, what happened was that when I was going for India, the person I left in charge of the pond, you know, they come and feed the fish, add some fish food for the fish. They throw it in every day, but they didn't check to see if the fish finished eating the food. Cause some of these gold fish, they were babies. So they were kind of really like, uh, uh, not that friendly so they didn't feel comfortable coming to the top and eating the food so what i usually used to do like for example here is one of the food over here i take this and it is kind of uh soaked in water i would just use on it and let it go it will sink to the bottom and the fish would eat from there so i mean anyway i couldn't expect uh, you know the person to do this i thought if the fish was too hungry they would come to the top and eat but apparently they didn't, or oh, I don't know if the per, uh, person fed them way too much. The water in this pond was bad because I think uh, all that food from several days uh, started decaying and increasing and started increasing the ammonia levels and all the goldfish in this pond died. There was no fish in this pond when I came back. And my water lily, which is a purple one that I bought, was doing much better. And its leaves were like terrible, it was ready to die. So what I did was that, and also I see a lot of mosquitoes uh, having, you know, babies in here. That means the water is bad or is no movement in it. So what I did was that uh, I kind of, uh, and all, uh, hold on, and all my, these, uh, plants if you look on the roots they were like full of like you know uh like decaying matter on them like you know it sucked all that maybe the dead bodies of the fish and stuff and it smelled pretty bad too so what i did was that i took the roots and cut them down and got rid of all the all the nasty thing from the roots and the water level was quite a bit down so i added more water it in it and waited for two days then i added like two goldfish in here and you can see uh, my guppies bred a lot in from this pond you know and i put some of the guppy babies from the neighboring pond to here and now everything is under control doesn't have the smell uh fish are doing fine so i added more goldfish in it but Here's my other pond. Luckily, this pond didn't have no problem. The water condition wasn't that great, but all the fish were doing fine. I had the guppies breeding like crazy in here. I have way too many uh, babies in here. You can see the males over there. I think I might have lost one of the adult males, but rest of them are doing fine and then breeding quite a bit in here. So. I transferred a whole bunch of, look, you can see like baby guppy over there. And all my females that I had before, you know, initially when I bought them, they were not in great condition. Now they all have bulked up and they're looking really good. And you can see a lot of uh, juvenile guppy babies there, like getting a little bit more bigger. I have a good, good, uh, solid uh, school of guppies in here. They're doing great and there's plenty of babies. So I took a whole bunch of guppy babies from here and put it in this pond because it's a much deeper pond and I know they would thrive much better. So all those babies are doing fine. And uh, I added maybe like 10 or 12 goldfish in here and they're doing really good too. It's, it just shows like if you don't pay attention to your stuff like uh, especially if you're in a hobby and you're taking care of like living creature and if you don't pay attention to it things can like you know whatever go south or die pretty fast it's, it's just like how people say like you cannot have a fish tank and throw some food in there and expect everything to be perfect no you got to put work in it that's the same thing with the birds too like a lot of people complain like they're not they're not breeding it's not doing well like 
most people would just throw some food in there and water and expect birds to breed you know and it might happen with a few amount of people but majority of time you no know, you have to wash things real closely look at these guppy males they're so nice these these blue ones they're, they're i'm very impressed that was one of those uh uh the smaller one was a baby when i got it i thought it was a female it turned out to be a male and uh, i'm trying to find somebody locally who would take care take all these guppies in for the winter and they can have it i just want like a couple of pairs next summer because i don't have a fish tank inside because well, these guppies are really good and if you look the water condition in this pond it's not that clear because uh it's not that deep and there's a lot of fish in here so the bio load is quite high especially the goldfish so that's the reason i moved a whole bunch of goldfish from here to here because i know as soon as the water started clearing up uh they would do fine and plus there was a whole bunch of mosquitoes in here so all these goldfish and guppies started munching on them and they started you know bulking up too so anyway these are my two small ponds uh, you can see all the goldfish in there some of them they're getting huge and i uh i, I would i'll do a video of my big pond i sold uh, um the other day maybe like 15 of the big babies from that pond because i have way too many babies and i saw, saw a whole bunch of these different kind of water plants too because i gotta thin them out too yeah if i had to pick one fish uh for only fish i can keep uh if there's only one fish i could keep i'll go with guppies because there's they're so beautiful and they come in a variety of colors and i i like these really like long tailed guppies i don't really care for the short tail because there are so many different strains of guppies nowadays and uh, some of them are you know they look nice but the tails are short but i like the long tail ones Okay, some of these goldfish. You can see that goldfish changing color. It was like all black and now it's changing slowly to orange. Some of them change color fast and others take a while to change. Yeah, see whether I can look you can see how clear the water is in here see how beautiful these fish are all the fish they're so beautiful anyway that's it from the ponds They all like I fed them really good. So that's on another. If you pay attention, there's another one. Let's put it over here and see. All of them will start munching on it. There you go. They were so timid. I mean, these fish are much friendlier because I moved them from here to here. But the fish that were initially in here was so timid that they don't really come to the top. I used to like break it down and squeeze, squeeze those uh, uh, fish food when they, when it, when it can kind of get all sogged up and let it fall to the bottom for them to eat. But these guys, they come to the top and eat, but I pay attention and if I see any kind of fish food floating in between the plants, I would grab it and make sure, you know, the fish eat it. 
Anyway, that's it for the ponds. I'll do the big pond uh, tomorrow.